Ibrahim here in Saltana from the School of Forestry and we try to make posts of eucalyptus uh, trees and we have three different species eucalyptus globoidea, eucalyptus processuana uh, and eucalyptus uh, quadrangulata they differ quite a bit in their bark so we will see if the bark has an effect on making posts if they cause any trolls and um, therefore we have some of the logs with the bark on and some of the logs have already been debarked in the forest, like this one for example. I'm Randall Gray from Dashwood Timber. We're timber processors and post and pole processors. We do a lot of custom work for people and this is a 4 bark 210 and we've used a number of models of post peelers and this is a very good one, um, very easy to operate. Um, through the machine with a high density and the machine didn't seem to have any troubles with it. It makes quite clear chips um, which could be used for mulch, mulch or something else. Um, it takes quite a deep cut into the wood so um, it can take probably off all the sap wood on the trees and we'll go and um, it seems to work fine so far. And the next thing we will try is um, the bark, if the bark causes any problem. some log through with the bark on and uh, it didn't go too well. There was um, a lot of problems with the bark clogging up um, the feeding, feeding, um, uh, feeding wheels um, into the machine. And uh, so we managed to get through the smaller ones and you see that the bark came off but um, there was basically not, not of, none of the wood peeled off. Two 
of the um, blocks which had the park on, which uh, were not um, completely um, shaved off, and uh, we put through a second time, and then they went through um, real nicely, and uh, we have um, all the sand put off, and we have nice um, hardwood posts. So um, the conclusion is, if we want to use this machine um, with our eucalypts, it needs to have um, the bark um, um, uh, taken off before we put it through the machine.